Hi there. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great and we hope you are too. Have you guys heard about the Refine Project? Refine Project? What's that? Well, first of all... Whoa! Whoa. Anyways, do you guys read the newspaper often? No, I don't. Me neither. Everyone here can agree that it's too boring and there's too many words. It was like that for me too. But ever since we carried out this project in class, I've read more newspaper than I ever did in my whole life. This project can ease the learning process for students and is also aimed for students who are having difficulty in the language. For instance, knowing the grammar, vocabulary, and sentence structure in English language. Really? Then that means it will also help in our essay writing and speaking. Yes, it will. It will also educate students on general knowledge and keep them updated with current happenings. I see. So, how will this help students in their examination? Well, after this project is carried out, all the materials used will be compiled into a digital note. Yes, students can refer to the digital notes. It also covers up a lot of aspects and can be used in other subjects. For example, math, pengajian am, geography, and ICT. So there are four steps in this project. The first one is to read an article. Next is to highlight the main points, elaboration, and examples. You have to highlight at least three points from the article. Students are divided into groups so that we can do discussions. That sounds great! I prefer doing work in groups since we can get more creative with our project. Same! By brainstorming ideas and working in a team, it often produces better outcome compared to when we work alone. I guess that's the point of this project. It allows you to be more creative. Am I right? Exactly! The next step is to create a mind map of the points we highlighted in the article. And we only choose the three base points. Mind mapping is a useful technique that supports learning, improves information recording, and promotes creative problem solving. It also helps you in remembering and recalling information better. Next step is presenting the main points. This will improve your speaking skills and knowledge of the news. What makes it more intriguing is that we get to have different ways of presenting. I've heard about this before. Some of the ways that have been used to present the points including making a video presentation, doing podcasts, and the best one is making a music video parody. Do students have to sing the song themselves for the music video parody? Of course! That way, it will be more fun! Students are allowed to do whatever they want with their presentation, from editing to scripting. The more creative they are, the better. This is very fun! I never knew a learning method like this. Not only does it have a great impact on helping students to memorize things easily, but it also leaves good memories for students. It shows that learning process can be very fun and doesn't have to be stressful all the time. Agreed! What about the last step? Ah uh, yes, the last step is where our knowledge will be tested. We will have to do the right thing. The essay needs to be done using the three main points that we get from the article. Oh, I see. Is there anything that can be shown from this project? These are some of the products from the Refine project. To conclude, I think through this project, we are able to master the skills needed in MUET better and we get to build invaluable teamwork. It will be easier for others to work with us in the future. Employers like to hire those with creativity because they have more original and fresh ideas. Don't forget the influence it has on students. We get to learn a lot of things and gain more knowledge as the result from reading more articles and newspapers. True. Employers also hire those who knows about current happenings or those who have general knowledge. It will be harder for the newer generations because they do not read much news. This refined project is something that should be implemented in our everyday learning. Read your news. Try it out.